all before a cast. Is that bad? It can't be. I do really good at this game to like get to Zeus. I mean, Hades. You know who you remind me of with red hair? The singer of Paramore? Oh my god, I love her. Haley, Haley Williams? Her voice is something unreal. Like, that shit is, like, from another planet. Thank you. Do you guys see the blue popping out? I swear it's not gray. My gray's the roots, not the tips. <laughs> see, I go around, and I look for gold, and I look for a fish, and then I go take the shit every time now. It's the only, it's the only way I don't miss anything. What am I going to get? Please be lightning. You're such a Fuck, sweeter. bitch. My friends are arguing. Why are your friends arguing about something you already took? Either it's going to work or it's not. The best way to fight COVID is be a healthy person. Right, Kino? Like, I listen to a lot of metal and a lot of, like, I don't even know what you would call it. Like, EDM kind of t stuff. But it's not, like, um, ba like, what's that guy that does the bass shit? The it's not that. Oh, I know. I mean, this isn't the gray, though. The gray's in there. The gray's still there. Trust me. It's... She there. Um. Okay, fine. Skrillex, not Skrillex. Like, more the, like, uh, I don't even know what you would call it. Like, um, I don't know. Like, revolting cocks. Exactly. Let me, hold on, let me pull up a band. I'll give you an example. Like, Elderbrook. I love the band Elderbrook. I don't know what the fuck you call that. I love Elderbrook. Um, Black Coffee, amazing brand, band out of South South America that is really, really good. Rufus Dussol, amazing. I love him. Um, P Now, another really, really good one I listen to a lot of. But I don't know what you would call that music. What is that? Elderbrook's incredible. Oh my god, they're so good. Yes, Rod, it was amazing. But what would you like call that genre? Like that's what I put on in the background a lot when I'm like cleaning the house and just putzing around. I need. <gasps> Squeaky, do you want my playlist? I have a playlist with like thousands of songs on YouTube. I can send it to you. If you remind me. Gentlemen. Um, let me see. A good, a good first song. Are you in the mood for something faster or something kind of, it doesn't matter. I'll give you a good one. Listen to, I'm going to give you two because this is a taste of kind of both their styles. It, it's one dude, but he has two styles. So the first one, old friend, faster, much more upbeat, kind of a dance song. Old Friend by Elderbrook. And then the second one, Inner Light with Bob, Mos Bob Moses. Beautiful song. And the music video will make you just be stunned. It's so gorgeous. Those are two good ones. Two different flavors. Yeah, Twitter, please. Because Discord has shit me. Dance Electronic. All right. There you go. I like that. I can play Moonlight Sonata by heart still because I played it so many fucking times for adjudications as a kid. I hate it now. The Live in, Aqu in the Aquarium set is amazing. I listen to that a lot. <gasps> Run DMCA. Uh, Run the Jewels is amazing. I'm going to try to kill these guys now. Bitch. Prepare myself, bitch. I might die. I don't know. Do I have enough to kill them? Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. I like when I just sit on him. Come here, ho. Bitch. No, don't touch me with your spiky shit. Don't touch me! Oh, he's almost dead. Die, motherfucker, die. Where'd he go? There he is. Bitch. 
simultaneous death. Did you just see that? That was pretty dope. CK, I feel you in Moonlight Sonata. I can still play for release in its entirety by memory. Yeah. Anybody that did piano adjudications, fucking A. That and the Toccata. Toccata and D minor. Never again. I could do it on my fucking... I can do it without a fucking keyboard in front of me. It's terrible. I know I hate satyrs. That's the worst part is now we have to... I, I have no deflect at all. I still didn't get any deflect. Enjoy the rest of <clears throat> so I have no deflect. And I have to go deal with all this fucking poison bullshit. And then lose to Hades in front of you guys, which I don't want to do. Oh, <gasps> Miri, bitch. How are you? <gasps> Thank you. See, I told, I mean, I have over 400 hours in the game. Like, I've played the living fuck out of this game. I just, for the living fuck of me, cannot beat Hades. Like, every time I get to Hades, I lose. It's my fate, I guess. I'm fated to be fucked. Same. I think I've only beat him like five times max. Maybe six. I panic and become reckless. I just, it's like his hits are so strong. They take so much of your life away. One smack. And I'm just like, fuck. Whereas like nothing else in the game really hits you that hard. Like the game, the way it trains you up to that point is for mobs. And then when you get to him, it's all about avoidance and singular damage and you're like what the fuck have I done wrong it's very alarming I feel that um mm -mm -mm. that's probably useful to be honest it might be decent on my special because I could special him I have the magnet cutter, so it'll bring him into me, make him weak, and then just pound him to death. Might be decent. But I have lightning. But I don't have any lightning. Do I have lightning boons? I don't think so. Oh, I do have one. Man, I mean, this was a good run, but I didn't pull a lot. Oh my god, this game is amazing. God, it's so addicting. <gasps> oh, Kalkaru, how are you? Moanis, how are you? My mods are banning a bunch of bots that followed us earlier, just so you guys know. I'm not ignoring people. They weren't people. I think I'm gonna do it. Fuck it, right? Go, the exchange. go big or go home! Mm, I'm not nervous, you are. I always do the boss one. Oh, oh my God, I thought there was only one. I was like, ma'am? How are you? How's life treating you, honey bean? I mean, to be fair, the last month has been an extremely spotty stream month for myself. Um, I had some horrible, horrible life things happen and wanted to just not live anymore. And then I got a flu bug. <laughs> Thank you, bitch. Oh, <gasps> Dre Bunny. Oh my God. Hi, honey bean. You're in my heart forever. Don't even worry about it. Hail the dang lord. Oh, the gross resurgence is sick. I know. Fucking hail the mods. Without them, we are broken people. You know, I've never played Satisfactory. Cheers. Should we cheers? Do it for focus. You know, my cursor is on the chat and it. I thought it said do it for the fools. And I was like, do it for the fools. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you, Sales. I really appreciate that because you know they'll come here if they're in my other friends. Squeaky, you know we're patient. I'm sure there's someone out there packing right now that will cheers late with you. See? Princess Punker, now you and Squeaky get cheers together. Aw, oh, Moanis. I'm okay. I'm getting better. Slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. Ah, oh, these guys. Fuck them. Holy shit. How did I avoid getting poisoned? That never happens. 
Dude, the art streams have been so much fun. I really wish I could get my iPad up somehow on my PC so we could do that together. <gasps> Hail the dank lord, bitch. Oh, Militia. I'd be down. I mean, it'd be probably really boring. They'd probably just hug it out. I am? Well, I mean, being an artist is subjective. Anybody can be an artist. But I did go to school for art, and I do love to paint. I don't sell it, though, or do anything with it. I just do it for fun. But yeah, I like to paint. I actually, I'm kind of, I think it's like a symptom of being ADHD, but I kind of like dip my dick in everything I fucking inhumanly can. Um, like, once I get kind of good at something, I get bored. So like, uh... Um, I quilt, and I crochet, and I do cross-stitching, and knitting, and painting, and, ooh, bitch, that's hot, I haven't seen Malignant, was it good though, I, I went and, or I watched last night, I watched, it was called like, fuck, it's the new, um, my brain is stoned. <laughs> the guy who plays Wolverine, it's the new movie with him in it. I'm just blanking on names right now. I watched that last night and it was meh. I wanted to see what you guys thought. <gasps> oh my God, serious question. Why is your favorite, nine what is your favorite Nine Inch Nails song and why is it Wish? Because that's the most epic song written ever. And everybody says Wish because we can't pick a favorite Nine Inch Nails song. So we all just secretly agreed to say it's Wish and just deal with it. How do you pick a favorite? It's impossible. Hugh Jackman, Jesus, thank you. Reminiscent, yeah. Did anyone see it? Because I wasn't really a fan. I felt like it was kind of a copy of something I'd seen before. I'm watching it later today. My co-host for the podcast is coming out of commission for a while. So I've been trying to stock some episodes. Malignant might be one of those. Ooh, I'm gonna watch Malignant soon. I'm excited. Oh my god. I cry. When the lights come up, like on the silk, I cry. It, I mean, it had potential. I thought it was going to be more like, like, um, oh god. What's the movie where he has to write all his, he like tattoos his memories on himself? I'm just really, I'm high and not good with names. Head Like a Hole. Ooh, I love that song. You know what one of my favorite songs, honestly, is? It's Heresy. Heresy is a beautiful song. I mean, if you listen to the lyrics, Reptile. Reptile is one of my favorite songs ever by Nine Inch Nails. Oh, yeah. They're great. I mean, the lyrics are just... You know, Militia, did you know that um, Trent Reznor actually gave the, like, gave the rights of the cover of the song to Johnny, to Johnny Cash? Because he, he literally said, you did it better than me. It's yours now. I thought that was pretty beautiful. Metal is such a good song. I used to, I literally, that was one of those songs that I put on every mixtape I had as a kid. Like, I couldn't tell my mixtapes apart because every single one had metal on it. Oh, God, Nine Inch Nails is so great. Yeah. Oh, I know a lot of stupid Nine Inch Nails facts. I'm a big fan. They're my favorite band of all time. Like, they're my, they're like my soul band, you know? Until, well, let's say, yeah, no, we're not even gonna go there. Fucking Courtney bitch fuck already tried. Ugh. People who me too for attention are almost worse than people who molest other people without permission. I don't know what's worse. We should be able to get back through here. Yep. Yeah, I love that. I love that, Militia. <gasps> Busy! Nothing much. I don't think anything... Were you here for this? Scary. Not that one. Sponge with... Nope. Ha, 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 ha. Were you there for that one? <gasps> Elmo, how is your elbow and how are you doing? Ha, 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 ha. That happened, which is great. Also, the mods have been extremely busy banning these accounts that are, like, going through me and my friends' channels and following for God knows what reason. So if you see that happening a lot, that's why. Yeah. Scum. It's horrible. And that Courtney 
the fuck the bitch that shot Kurt Cobain. What's her name? Is it Courtney Love? There's too many Courtney's. I know this much is true. Is one of my favorite books I've ever read. Courtney Love. She's a piece of shit. Oh, Squeaky. I mean, we could talk about that forever, but I don't want to drop names. There were a lot of shitholes in that on both ends of the spectrum. Shit, Poop sorry. on them. Um, bitch. I have like 300 extra damage on that. Which tunnel? It's pretty sexual. Should check this way. Who did what? You don't believe she killed him? I don't think it really matters. I think the fact that she sold off all of his possessions, including his private journal afterwards to buy drugs and plastic surgery was pretty fucked up. Like that alone is gross. He was a very depressed person. We all know that. He was on a lot of heroin and drugs. Like, pretty much everyone in Seattle is depressed and on heroin. I'm just kidding. But a lot of people, they don't get enough sun. I called her trash to her band in California back in 1999. Oof, that's beautiful. Has she, I think she's always not been a very wonderful person. But Kurt Cobain was a very loving person who gave a lot of uh, permission to, for failure and stuff. Like, he was in love with the human condition. So that was a person for him. I, I'm not 100% convinced he shot her. She shot him, but I'm not convinced she didn't. They were both high as fuck all the time. Who knows? Merman, no shit. When my mom got breast cancer, the doctor told her that um, the Pacific Northwest has the highest rates of MS and breast cancer. And they think it's due to lack of vitamin D. Because even if you went outside naked 24 hours a day, at the angle that our planet's at, living at that uh, longitude, you can never get the right amount of vitamin D. Like you just never get that enough sunshine which is kind of crazy vix i don't know i was peeing and i heard it and i just screamed into his office somebody clip that and someone did bless him and rod threw it at me and i love it dope sick Ooh, i can't watch that stuff i've had way too much experience personally with drugs and overdoses and whatnot i can't i don't need to see it you know been there been there done that I felt absolute joy when I saw an old clip of him catching a guy who groped a woman in the crowd and he stopped the show, called him out, mocked the fuck out of him, and I think the security threw him out. I think I saw that a long time ago. Unless you're a ginger, then you need less sun than others. Gingers need less sun, you mean, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the lighter your skin, obviously, like we evolved away from the equator, less melanin. So on and so forth. That being said, I don't know if I need to say this, but black people can sunburn and you still get breast or you still get skin breast cancer, you still get skin cancer. A couple times in my chat, like people have been like, but black people don't. And I'm like, oh no, what? Absolutely protect your skin. Everybody needs to wear sunscreen. The amount of sunscreen you'd have to bathe in to get cancer versus the sun seriously Vissy, i've had black people tell me they're like i don't think i can get skunk skin cancer and i'm like wear sunscreen if i can offer you only one tip for the future sunscreen would be it also men have very high rates of breast cancer boys be feeling your titties oh <gasps> pyro are you off work i hope you have a beautiful weekend if i don't see you but if i do see you i will see you i love you it is. I love that song. Pentakill? No. Sterling Archer got breast cancer. Did he really? I don't remember that. Five minutes. Oh, the countdown. It's happening. It got cold here. I actually took out the AC unit. Holy shit. Did it get cold fast? Sunscreen, it has a zinc in it, which reflects the sun away from your skin. That's the theory behind it. It reflects the UV rays off of you. That's why back in the day it was like white. Like really pasty and white looking. <gasps> How dare you? How am I avoiding the poison? Is it because I can hit so fast I'm hitting it? It's harder to see the sunburn, but you still get sunburns and skin cancer. I just don't want anyone to like... I'm not saying anybody's stupid or ignorant. I'm honestly, I just care about your skin. <laughs> I don't need y'all getting skin cancer. That shit is, is sad and very tragic. I had a buddy of mine who got it when we were in college, and he died six months after graduation. It was horrible. Barnsdale, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my stream. My name is Class Katie. It's wonderful to meet you, and thank you for joining us today. Welcome.
found it already. Melanoma is scary. Dude, he got it. He was just like a white nerd from Arizona, northern Arizona. But he was bald and just never put sunscreen on because he didn't think he went outside often Disgusting. enough. But going so outside for five minutes is enough. Taking your dogs out to poop is enough. Okay, Gotta put on sunscreen. It went to his brain, killed him. It was crazy. Very fast. Because of the amount of famous folks who did drugs and drinking, I don't do it. Because of the horror stories. I mean, when okay. people ask why I don't go beyond weed, I don't want to die that way. Foaming at the mouth, like in a hospital. Same though. I'm good. Woof. My husband said, Katie needs your skin pristine for when she skins you and makes a suit. Oh my God. Are you a real big fat girl? Like a size 11? Nice and roomy. <laughs> I can't do his voice, but someone has to know the quote. Please, please, I'm not that creepy. <laughs> Maybe. Um. Yay! <laughs> so happy. Dude, sales. So you know how my dad passed away when I was seven? And his big, his drink of choice was Budweiser? To this day, the smell of Budweiser on someone's breath makes me want to fucking hurl in their mouth. <laughs> it's a bother to put on Remember. I, I get moisturizer that has sunscreen in it, so I just have it with me. I just, it's part of my daily routine, you know, like taking care of my animals. As a fatty, that's fucking hilarious. Dude, I'm pretty positive the first time I ever watched that movie, I was a size 11 or 12, and I was like, I'm fat? I didn't know. Fucking Buffalo Bill and all my inner issues now. <laughs> it did kind of give me a complex, though, honestly. I was like, what? Really? I didn't know. It's a virtual band, but it's made with famous artists like the lead singer of Dragon Force. Oh, so kind of like Clockwork. Uh, no, um, Death Clock? Kind of? Ooh, I'm going to have to check them out. Dude, Budweiser, that smell. Mm -mm. Oh, Vile, you want that to be the opening song for your funeral? I want mine to be Fly Away by, uh, names when I'm stoned or hard. Um, what's his name? I want to get away. That one. I want to fly. He has all the nose rings and apparently an enormous dick. Lenny Kravitz, thank you. Yep. That song. That. And then, I, can't, I think it's the Rolling Stones, but it's the one that's like, get off my cloud. Hey, hey, you, you get off my cloud. That one. R. Kelly pee on you? Maybe. I mean, honestly, like, it depends on, like, my mood if when I'm at dying age or when it's going to happen. But, like, if I'm mad at my whole family, I'm going to pee on you by R. Kelly. That'd be pretty fucking hilarious. Or, like, Fucker Gently by Tenacious D just starts playing as everyone's crying and looking at my corpse. Princess Punker, did you know you can actually get skin cancer from your monitors of your computers and just by standing by a window for three minutes a day? That's a fact I know and I don't know why. I hate my brain. Medical school ruined me forever. Just sitting in front of monitors, you need to wear sunscreen. I know. You can get sun cancer in the shade. It's actually worse in the shade because the, the, the clouds or the shade filters out everything but the UV rays, so it's just straight UV penetration. I know! Ugh. I'm full of facts to ruin life. Another one bites the dust. Oh, Bodies by Drowning Pool, dude. That was another song that was on every mixtape I made as a kid. Dude, Princess Punker, I'm telling you, man. No you're safe from nothing. And honestly, it's a large part due to the ozone being destroyed. Like, back in the day, the reason people didn't die of skin cancer and shit was because we had this big old thick ozone layer that protected us from all the rays coming from the sun. To a certain extent, obviously not 100%, but a little bit. But there's, I mean, literal holes in our ozone that are just astronomically, ridiculously big at this point. Like, sunscreen's gonna go so far, but at this point, like, we, ugh. Ugh. Sucks. It sucks. 
Ooh, but that's really low and sad. That's what she said. Your mom's low and sad. And everything was about the loaded gun. Happiness is a warm gun. I hope this can get me out of here. Yes, it is. Oh my God, Aquanet. The, I can, just you saying Aquanet and me reading it out loud in chat, I can smell it. Why not? <gasps> Your doom effects can, oh. Ugh. Ugh. Take, oh, the, t dude. You're taking me back to my mom's wedding when she married my stepdad. The bathroom. It was just inhaling awkwardness. Bitch! How does it feel to be dead? Bitch. Oh my god, Knoxville, I literally cut my fingernails so short that's impossible because I think it's so gross. I can't. Like, another thing you learn working in a hospital is that the vast majority of patients have feces under their fingernails from scratching their beehole or digging poop out. I don't wanna. That's why the hospital employees aren't legally allowed to have long artificial fingernails because of the funguses and fecal matter that hides under them. Ugh. I'm so jealous of my dad. He's tan as soon as he goes outside for five minutes. That's me. Like, I don't tan throughout the summer. First day of summer, I'm as tan as I'm gonna get and I just stay. I just don't understand how people keep long nails clean. Like when you have short nails, like my nails, I don't even know if you can tell. This is a great, look how short. I cut them to the bone and you can still see a tiny line of maybe some dirt just from living. Imagine what's under the dragon lady nails. I don't wanna. He poisoned me, what a cock ass. We haven't found one infernal trove, I don't think. Jesus Christ. Die, thank you. I might die. I'm gonna fucking die before I get to Hades. I did. You know what though? That was a really good run. I don't even mind. That was really fun. Hades is not fun. My grandma had the bouffant and my mom had a mullet. Oh, my mom had a mullet and my dad has a mullet. Rest in peace, little beast, and you'll suck a large imagination. I'm sorry that happened. Hiya, friend. There's no escape. In case you hadn't heard. Moana is honestly like death defiance I felt was worse because with the one I have right now I can die once every single battle I'm in and if you think about like how many battles are in the game it's a lot so you do so my favorite thing for the word mullet is a Tennessee top hat oh that's beautiful my stepdad has a mullet to this day and it's because he thinks his ears are big and he's like seriously I just can't stand that my ears are big I'm like you don't, you're six foot five like no one six foot five can have big ears stop it I love Dusa, I know. But for Dusa some reason, like, I romanced Meg, and now Dusa is just like a one word conversation every time. I think she hates me. My dad actually looks good, I think, but it might be because I'm so used to him having a mullet forever since I've known him since I was like nine. More than one just as a lump sum because of the Athena. I know. And see, I can get the Athena thing one time. Every once in a while, I get it on this one, and then it gives me two. So I get to die three times every single battle. If you get it on this one, which is amazing. Amazing. Ooh. Ooh, I, this is a question for anybody that plays Hades a shit ton. So what the fuck do I do with the purple gems now? Yeah. It adds one to it. It's pretty cool. Some people can pull it off if it's classy, yeah. And then, I mean, honestly, mullets only look bad when they're the extremes. Like Joe Exotic. No, Wookie, stop it. <laughs> Does he still have a mullet? Good deal. Good In prison? Deal. Are they allowed? I'll take it. Honestly, I have no idea. Do they clip you up? Seek out your birth mother again, my child. 
That's it, literally. So I'm just like amassing thousands of purple gems for nothing. I have everything upgraded on the mirror. Like I've done everything. I even bought the one housing thing for the mirror or for the whatever. It's just like an aesthetic thing. But that's it now, basically. Cool. I was just curious. Ty Turner. I don't know who that is. But I'm really bad with names. I remember faces really well, but for some reason, names. Long vampiric hair. I wish. Man, these fake follows make it really unexciting to be followed. Oh, I hate this weapon. Oh my god! It's 307? What happened? Opian, what's up? Just trades. Wow. A special option. I did the one that was like 25, but I didn't see one for 50. Hey, room. Hi, room. Just trading. Wow, that's upsetting. Because you get so many. It's like the most that's prolific um, thing. I got this one. So it's like the underworld. And then I can change it to like the chaos. And it's just like the theme of your overlay. That stuff. Yeah, I got that one. That one was like 25,000, I think. I think. Did it just take all my themes away? Oh no, I put it on, okay. And then I have these, but I still have to update, I still have to upgrade like all my weapons, so I haven't wasted shit on any of this, because it doesn't seem worth it. <gasps> Vile, what in the fuck, tits? Um. Thank you. Vile's hallucinating because he hasn't been not working uh, for like a year. <laughs> Vile. Vile has just gifted 20 fucking subscriptions on my channel. Thank you. For fuck. Thank you, Vile, you crazy bitch. S <laughs> Savage Raptor. I like your name. Slightly Pear. Tyrannus? I, I almost thought that said trannies and I was going to get really upset. Tyrannus, thank God your name isn't an offensive name. Because <laughs> that was, just, yeah, Katie. I'm on high alert because we have all these fucking bot follows today. I apologize. Deadeye Dixon, ice cold coin healer. Aruga Kato? Is that like a, an arugula and a, aruga, are you a leaf Kato? I want to draw that now. Pioneer Raptor. Oh my God, there's dinosaurs in chat. I'm so excited. Axel Happen, Mizo. Bull reporting, Moanis, Talius, Goran, Jacobus, Dplat21, Harbinger, Divi Dan, Medic10, Escalion, and Wonko. Use all but wizards of the highest order. Please go forward and be consensual in every way because nothing is sexier. And thank Vile. I've only been up since 2 a.m., 14 hours. I'd be getting woozy. I'm just kidding. You know that. I'm just really weird with generosity. I've always been really awkward receiving any form of kindness. Thank you. I never mean the, the mean things. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Lash. Thank you for doing that. Seriously, you don't want a blood clot. It's a bad way to go. Stretching is so easy. And it feels so good. Oh, I love when shit pops. Oh, there it went. Oh my God, I got it to pop. Holy crap! Ah! 